Welcome to this Google Apps for Education introduction for teachers. During the 2013-2014 school year, the Bethlehem Area School District secured their own Google Apps for Education domain and piloted its use with high school teachers and students with the purchase of Chromebook computers at both Liberty and Freedom High Schools. In the 2014-2015 school year, high school staff will begin to use Google Apps more and more. All high school teachers, students, secretaries, counselors, and administrators have a Bethlehem Area School District Google Apps for Education account. Teachers will be asked to access documents on the Bethlehem Area School District Google Apps for Education drive from time to time. School calendars will be migrated and managed through the Google Calendar tool. And everyone will have a Google Gmail account to receive notifications when things have been shared with them. Teachers are not expected to check two email accounts, so we'll show you how to forward this Google email to your Bethlehem Area School District email so you don't miss a thing. In an effort to prepare teachers for this implementation, part of today's in-service is dedicated to allow teachers to learn more about Google Apps. In case you're viewing this video outside of the training site, I'll show you where to access the Google Apps for Education training webpage. Start with the Bethlehem Area School District webpage. Click on the Departments tab and select the Technology Department. Scroll down and under Department Divisions along the left hand side, locate Educational Technology. Click on Educational Technology. On the right hand side, there are three website links. Click on the BASD Google Apps link, the first link. This is the Bethlehem Area School District Google Apps resource page. At your leisure, feel free to learn more about Chromebooks, the Chrome browser, Google Drive, Gmail, Calendar, other apps that we use with the Google domain, and some curricular resources. But for today, we're going to focus on the trainings page. So click on the trainings tab. Scroll down and locate the intro to Google Apps High School, June 2014. And this is the training page for today. You may be asked along the way to enter your Bethlehem Area School District Google username and password. For teachers, it's your Bethlehem username at BASD schools with your Bethlehem email password. This is the video that you're watching, um, many of you, um, but again, this is the same video, um, the introduction for teachers, so you can view it at another time. Here are some stated goals, and the two main goals are in regards to an Apple technology survey and the Google training outcomes. Please start with the Technology Survey for Teachers, May 2014. Click on where it says here to access the survey and take a few moments to complete it. Thank you for your participation in this survey. Next, come back and view the Google Training Outcomes. These are things that have been identified as being needed in order to start using Google Apps in the 2014-2015 school year. Everything in this grid are the things that we would like staff to be aware of by the end of training today. Many teachers have already either they know these items or they've actually been using these things in their classroom during our pilot. So that's why I made this a self-paced training. Go through each row and look through all of the outcomes. If you already have done this or know the item, please move on to the next item. If not, please visit the information at the link to learn how to accomplish a task. In some cases, you will want to actually perform the task so that you're sure that you understand the concept. There are four things for the Google Apps account four things for the Google Drive, 
two things in regards to Google email and including how to set up the Google email to forward to your Bethlehem email and then two things about Google Calendar. If you still have time after visiting these outcomes, please scroll down to the training links that interest you. Most of these links are located at a website called EdTech Challenge. You're not expected to complete these trainings in a single in-service session today. Rather, you're being given a chance to sample them and decide on whether these can help you learn some of the concepts that many of you have identified as something you'd like to do in your classroom. You can work on these things at your own pace, over the summer, over the school year, whatever works for you. The first item is how to create a collaborative and paperless classroom with Google Docs. You would go to the link to visit those tutorials. Secondly, how to create a class website to communicate and power your classroom. And then how to use Google Sites to facilitate student inquiry with student ePortfolios. And this last thing is something I found really interesting. It's a tutorial on how to create your own ePortfolio to document and reflect on your teaching and your technology professional development. Some of you may find this tool to your liking and may want to use it next year as a way to document activities that you're doing, um, your uh, findings, and also as an artifact to demonstrate your professional growth. Please feel free to email me questions you have about the training or using Google Apps in your classroom. Have fun, and I hope you have a great summer. Thanks.